This is me breaking a world record. But while it looks like magic, almost every single move follows the same pattern. So I'm going to explain what it is and how you can do it yourself. Firstly, if you turn, let's say, this right side, that affects four different corners and edges, which is a lot of pieces to keep track of. Of course, if we undo it, they all solve themselves. But if we throw in an extra upper move and then undo it, this part is all solved again. But now these parts are all messed up. But something important changed. If we do another turn like this, it only moves one of the messed up pieces at a time. But undoing it obviously does nothing. And doing and undoing the three moves also does nothing. But if we do the three moves, then move this layer down here, then undo the three moves, then this layer once more, we resolve everything except these three corners. This is called a commutator, but let's change just one detail. Here, we will do the first three moves again, which inserts a corner, but we'll focus on the edge this time. This time, I'll exchange this piece for this one, before undoing them all in that order. And of course, you can do all of this in reverse otherwise known as the inverse. But let's go back to the case with the corners. How do you know whether to do the exchange or insertion first? Well, each piece has a home, and you want to make sure the piece you insert will go to its home. So in this case, if you try insert first, it works. So we know the rest will work out too. But in this case, it doesn't. So you must do the exchange move first. And now you'll see that after doing the insertion, it does indeed go home. Also, keep in mind that if you do these three moves instead as the insertion, the order will swap around. Okay, but let's say you had these three edges you wanted to solve, but you don't know what the insertion and exchange move is. So how do you figure them out? Well, first you check to see if there's a way to solve an edge in one move. In this case, there's two, but we'll stick with the upper layer. The exchange move will happen here. Then, we figure out how to insert the other piece into one of the spots in the exchange layer, remembering that we use at least three moves so we don't mess up the other pieces. But as you saw, this insertion doesn't solve the piece, so we need to do the exchange move first, so that now when we insert, the piece is solved and the rest will take care of themselves. But if you paid attention earlier, you might be wondering, what does the S mean? Well, that refers to the setup. Technically, you can show the last commutator example as having a setup where I first rotate the cube, do all those moves, then undo this setup. But usually it involves extra moves, like in this other example from the world record. If we try to find an exchange layer like before, it's impossible. Sure, doing this moves this piece back home, but it's twisted the wrong way round. And even though you can get this insertion to work, this will leave the other two twisted the wrong way round. But if we can apply the following setup moves, we basically get this specific case where we can find an interchange layer. In this case, we can insert it like this, but once more, this doesn't solve the inserted piece. So we do the exchange move first, then we know the insertion will work, and then the rest will take care of themselves. So we can just apply all of those moves to the original cube, and then undo the setup moves, which will solve the cube. But what if you had twisted corners? Well, in this case, you have to take the corner out before reinserting it back in correctly. But I'll still consider all these moves as being part of the insertion. In this case, I'm twisting this clockwise. So when you exchange its place for the other corner and then undo the insertion, the opposite effect will happen. So this corner will twist anti-clockwise, resulting in them both being solved. And something similar can be done for flipped edges. I can do these three moves to take it out, and then these four to put it back in the correct way. 
then do the exchange move and undo everything. But in practice, especially for flipped edges, fast solvers prefer doing two quicker commutators instead. But there's one more special type of commutator that throws the usual rules out the window that all fast blindfold solvers use. And you'll see why. For a case like this, we can see both the upper and front layers can be exchange layers. Solving it normally, we can use the upper layer to exchange and insert this piece into here like so. But remember how at the start, I said both of these two can be exchange layers. Well, if you did them back to back like this, all the three pieces we're focused on would be solved. But how can we solve them without screwing up the rest of the pieces on the sides? Well, doing just one of them, say the upper one twice, would make it solve itself. But what if we substitute the front turn with this instead? So here we turn the middle layer, basically setting up the two front layer pieces to the upper layer. So after turning the upper layer and then undoing the middle turn, you solve all the pieces and resolve the rest. This is the same as doing the front turn, but doing it this way undoes the upper layer outside part at the same time. And you can of course apply the same logic the other way, substituting the upper turn for a setup to the front layer again. But how does this all tie back to the world record? Well, at the beginning, I memorized the cube using letters turned into words and sounds, which I then convert into commutators to perform. And I basically use them to solve usually two pieces at a time, which is why I memorize in letter pairs. The last edge being sent back to the buffer position of each cycle, and if you don't understand what I mean by this, check out this video here. Now, after solving all the edges except two, which I did on purpose, I solve all the corners except the last few, where I do a setup to some cool moves I generated on a computer to solve everything else and break a world record. Anyway, check out this video for more and bye.